everyone, I'm Caroline and today I fancy drawing a face. I love drawing pretty girls' faces with voluminous hair and so I thought why not settle down and do that. Now last night I actually did the pencil drawing. I don't know if you can even see it there. It's very pale, it's in red pencil. So I thought we could get started on inking this in and then paint it up. So let's get started with my Unipin Fine Line 0.1. There's a very important reason why I'm using a 0.1. That's because I can't find my 0.5. So we'll get on with this. I'll pop some music on while I ink this in so you can kick off your shoes, relax, grab a cup of coffee and I'll get back to you when she's all inked in. So all set up, let's get started painting. Pop your shoes off, grab a cup of coffee, paint along with me, whatever you fancy doing. And I'll see you at the end and we'll see how pretty she turns out. I still haven't even decided what colour her hair is going to be. So if you think, oh, I'd like it to be pink or blue, then send me some vibes while I'm painting and we'll see if you're right at the end. Right, so I'm out to practice with my watercolour. I only use these Stuart Semple paints once or twice and if I use my watercolour pencils I'm going to be using Caran d'Ache Prismal 01 but they're vintage pencils. I've never used those before. So I know they say a bad workman blames his tools and yes I probably am covered in for the fact I'm not planning on this going as well as I would have hoped. But still let's have a bit of fun anyway because ultimately it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. The fun is in the actual creating. So let's give it a try. Brace yourselves, this could be a bumpy ride.
this far and realised just how rusty I am at watercolour. So I've only got a limited amount of time. So rather than wait for layers to dry and take my time, I'm going to bring out the big guns, the Prismalo One Aquarelle pencils. They're water-soluble pencils or watercolour pencils. Oh, there's the mister on again. And I'm just going to play about with this now and just bring it to life a little bit because it's got a lot of errors. It's got a... It lacks depth and interest and movements. So let's see what I can do with some watercolour pencils. Thank you. 
Right, that face is a disaster. I need to do something with it. So now, can I recover from that? Or is that the way she's destined to be forever? And be hidden away from the world because she's pretty awful at the moment. I don't know if... What I'm thinking, these are vintage Prismalo uh, pencil. And I think maybe they're too hard. They needed resharpening because they just really didn't blend well. I normally use my Faber-Castell ones. Or Castell. And they work nicely on faces. Hmm... I'll have a little think, see if I can come up with anything. Try lightening the whole thing. I don't think anything's going to work with these pencils because they're just too hard. It smooths it a little bit, almost like a blending action. Lighten it a little bit, but it's I'm not happy with it at all. But that doesn't mean that it can't be recovered. I just think it probably can't. So I'll run over with white over everything just to lighten it and blend it in and then we'll see what we can do. Oh, that's very blue and purple, that face, isn't it? Hmm. All right, this is now turning into a multimedia painting, drawing, creation. I'm going to break out the Faber Castles. Well, if I'm going to use all new things that I haven't tried before, I might as well go for these two. I love this, which is a sort of, you well... Know, peachy, caucasian -y type colour. No, it's not as pink, isn't it? Let's have a look. No, that's definitely orange. It's going to have to be this one. Let's put a little bit of this on. See what happens. Oh, it's very sticky. Again, vintage art materials. They may not work very well. But we're so desperate, we'll try anything. Hmm. I wonder if I can blend that in a little bit. They even give me this reposh brush. If I wet that a little bit and try, I don't think this is going to work or whether it's going to make it worse. Oh, I think we're repairing it a little bit. Still really tingy, but she's not as tingy as she was. Oh, a little bit much in. Oh, I think if we bring that blend it to the edges, it's certainly not. A complete fix. She still looks a bit of a mess. But at least she's not the sort of thing I'm going to put in the bin. I'll probably hang on to her where she was in very great danger of ending up in the bin. Because she looked so awful. I think these Faber Castles are going to repair her a little bit. Right. I wonder if we can do some blushy cheeks. I've got this darker pink. Or oh, I could go for the red. I think the red's going to be really overkill, isn't it? Okay, so. Some blushy bits there. It's still wet. So I suppose I should have, in one sense, let it dry. I don't really know. Right. Oh, we'll give them more. More blush. Oh, that's quite reasonable. Vaguely reasonable. So is there anything I can else I can do with these Faber Castles? Since I've got them, the gelatos they are. Gelatos? Gelatos? Not quite sure. Gelatos, I think. I think that's how they pronounce it. That's how they pronounce the ice cream, isn't it? And that's probably where they got the name from. I wonder what this will do in her hair. I should stop really now. I'm going to get things terribly messy. Let's try Hmm. Yes, I think I am going to get things terribly messy, but I can't stop. I've lost all control. I want to keep throwing things at this painting because I'm so unhappy with it. Let's try running that down with the wet brush. Oh, I think her hair looks much nicer now. So we'll wet her hair. Like that. Really brings out the colour, doesn't it? Wet in these watercolour pencils. I do wet them sometimes, but generally I just use them to, to top up bits of colour and things and they just stay there dry. But that's definitely made a huge difference, wetting them. Mm. And now we've got the direct comparison, that side of here to that side. And I'm going to put a bit more gelatos on here first. I'm going to put some under there where I want the dark areas to be. And a little squidge in there. And a little bit there and down there. Any other dark areas inside the curls I think would be dark. So let's try that.
I think we've recovered this enough from the ashes to me to actually admit to putting my name on this, so I'll sign it. There. And I think it's time to take the washi tape off. There's a lot of it. We'll just smarten up that edge like that. Oops. Ah, not very smart, but smart enough. And there we have Mrs. Purple Hair. Did we recover it from the flames? Well, uh, it, we've recovered it from the bin. I'm going to hang on to this one, but it's really not my finest moment. It just goes to show that if you're going to be trying out a new medium, one you're not used to, or one you're out to practice with, don't use your best paper, whatever you do. So if I was going to do anything else, I'd have done a trial run with like these Prismalo pencils because they just seem too hard. I don't know what the problem is. They look lovely. It's just the ones I haven't used in there. But they just didn't do the job for me. At the moment, I'm going to go back to my Faber Castle watercolour pencils and use those. If you've enjoyed watching me try to rescue this poor picture from the flames, and I have recovered it from the bin, but that's about as far as it goes, then please give me a thumbs up. It would be great if you could subscribe too. I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, have fun. Bye.